Chris Wheatley works from a real tiger skull, which he scales up to the largest recorded size. Head finally joins body, and a terrifying biting machine is born. Time to unleash the tiger. It's crunch time. The tiger looks the part, but can it bite like a big cat? Only one way to find out. Test it on something that simulates animal tissue. All right, there's the part I've been waiting for. Can we start smashing some stuff here? Sounds good, let's do it. Let's get this watermelon in there. Here we go. A watermelon is about the same size as a typical prey's head. There I go. Three, two, one, smash! No problem so far. Measure the, the load that this jaw is pushing on whatever is in its grasp. It's impossible to measure a real tiger's bite force in the wild, but scientists have developed a statistical formula that can give us a ballpark figure. For both the tiger and the lion, it's 1,000 pounds. We want this real. We want this to work. Does it differ from here to there? Like, is there different forces? Of course. Yeah, of course. Sure, no, no, of course I knew that. I was just testing. <laughs> Scott will ensure the mechanical tiger's jaws are set to the maximum estimated bite force of 1,000 pounds. Sensor called a load cell will give Scott an exact reading of the force applied. Yeah, that's exactly what I can hear. If I put it in the center, okay, I go on right. That's really low pressure. Yeah. We're that's in. Great. All right, let's see what you'll do. While Scott monitors the force, Mike slowly winds up the hydraulics. 200 pounds of pressure. Those teeth are really going into the wood. Yeah, oh, yeah, look yeah. at it. 330. Oh, yeah. Go up slow. Oh. And we're still in wide now. Yeah, 600 pounds on the motor. 570. So I've got a more working pass. Okay. What you need is something else, Scott. Yeah. 600. It's still holding. 751. 955. Wood's going. Yeah. 926. Alright, here goes, it's cracking. Boom! Oh, 1099. Yeah, rain break. Boom! Oh. 